Hello and welcome to Brimwood Farm and to my favourite day of the week. Now some of you might be thinking, hang on, it ain't Friday. And you're right, it's Wednesday and that means one thing. It's time for Chick Check. So welcome to Chick Check week four. So our chicks are just over three weeks. They're coming into their fourth week now. And they were out here in the conservatory, but we've had a really hot spell and they were getting too hot. I also wanted to make sure their brooder was larger. And I also wanted to make sure those guinea fowl are as tame as possible. Hence, I need them close by so I can pick them up whenever I walk past. So they are actually back in the house, much to my disappointment with the dust. Uh, but I'll just have to deal with it if I want to tame guineas. So let's head inside and we're going to check out these chicks. So here they are, our little chicks. Now you can see there, there's only three of them and that's because, let's pan up, there is number four, being naughty as normal. Now I actually have got a cover, so I actually have these. These are actually antiques, these were my, sh my granddad's sheep panels that he used to keep uh, his sheep in in their bonding pens when they first had their lambs. So I actually place that over the top of here when I'm away, otherwise I wake up to chicks or I come home to chicks all over the place. You'll also notice that as well as the box, I've got this piece of wooden board across the back. That is just to have the water on so that if they do spill it, which they invariably do, it doesn't go all the way through the car the shavings and the cardboard and then onto my wooden floor. Um, so that's just a kind of a fail safe to try and keep everything from getting too mucky and gross. You'll also notice we've got our three little guineas. They're doing really, really well. They're pretty skittish. Uh, they're not the friendliest of things, but I'm hoping that now they're in the house, they will be much more friendly. Hello. Oh, we've got one up. Hello, little one. So that's a little Poland. There's a little Poland. They haven't been in this for very long, so now they're obviously... Hi! Look at these little things, they're so funny. And this is why we have a crate over the top. Because all four of them have taken no time at all to fly up there. When I thought you'd just be eating your food with your little guinea friends. So the guineas are doing really, really well as well. As you can see, we've got two pale uh, grey ones and a white one. And they're still on chick crumb and they will be in here for the foreseeable future just as they grow up and just so that they get used to me uh, and hopefully handling. Because the idea of the guinea fowl is an alarm system with my chickens down the bottom. So of course they don't want to be making an alarm for every single thing they see. They only want to make, be making an alarm for things that are new to them, such as foxes. So I need to get them used to me, to my dogs, to, to birds flying overhead and stuff like that. And they just need to freak out when... Foxy Loxy comes along and that will alert me, hopefully. You can hear their little funny noises. So here's the little seven, four uh, chickens, three guineas. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any updates. Of course, we are following these little guys through all the way through to three months old. And possibly beyond and if you're on Facebook come and join me on Brimwood's Farm community group where we discuss everything from plants and cuttings and colour varieties to chickens, guineas, hatching, all sorts and I will see you again later in the week bye for now